a long time and it still doesn't get easy easier Hello everybody, happy Monday. I am home from work now. We got this little girl here. Why are you so excited? Swimming lessons. Swimming lessons start today. She has evening classes for two weeks, every night for two weeks. Well, Monday through Friday. I'm starving, I'm really trying to do a good diet, and I'm really hungry, but we're gonna try and wait till after we come back to eat dinner. So I might have a little snack before we go, because I'm literally starving. Let's get your bag packed, okay? You know what? Is. No, what is it? It's it's like it's like a ninja that you chop something. Oh, when they go hi yeah. Yeah. Keaton, here's your lobster swimming suit. Oh, so yeah. put that one on, okay? Okay. And then I have your cover up, and you don't need your hat, but yeah. we got your cover up at least. No, nope. put your swimming suit on, so you're ready to go. Oh. Okay, we're gonna take her shampoo and conditioner. So after oh, she's oh, done. After she's done at the pool, then she can just jump right in and take a shower at the pool. Well, do you like my swimming suit? Comment down below if you like my swimming suit. <laughs> my mom's pulling my hair into a ponytail. <laughs> so much easier since your hair is That's shorter. That's the real Keaton. That's the real Keaton. No, I'm the real Keaton. Look at that cute ponytail. All right, my dad is cooking dinner for them. I don't know what those are. Pork chops, I think. Jeez. Oh, I'm right? Yeah. Pork chops. You know, I have some pork ribs in the freezer that I'm gonna cook sometime. Really? Yeah, I don't know when. I've had them forever, but I'm gonna eat one of these. This is a pluot. Oh no, they're already going bad. I just bought these. They're like three days old. Which one should I eat first? And Shad's home. Hi. What's that drink? Uh, from the store, from the gas station. An energy drink? Yeah. I'm making, I'm cutting up a pluot because I'm starving. Aren't there seeds in these? Oh yeah, there is. You can't just come in and eat my pluot. That like five hours ago. Okay, let's try this. Shad's trying to steal it, but. Let's try this. Mmm, that's so good. Cheers. Oh my gosh. You can't have it anymore. That one right there. No, you have to cut up your own. It's okay, you can enjoy it. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. So good. It's cold? I guess if you're wearing your swimming suit, huh? Guys, look, there's a cul-de-sac. Kids are playing in the cul-de-sac. I love it. Kennedy's room is up there, so. Kennedy, let's go. All right, we are on our way to swimming lessons and if you guys have watched us from the beginning, like three years ago, you'll know that we lived in these apartments right here. And it was a nightmare. I am not kidding. A literal nightmare. I don't know if I've ever been so miserable, sad, depressed, anxious, whatever. It was horrible. There were like drug deals going down all the time. People's music was like thumping, thump, 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 like, all hours of the day and Keaton was a baby and they would literally like our apartment overlooked a parking lot and they would pull up in front of our unit and in front of her bedroom window and just thump their music the police or fire trucks were there every day yeah and where people would stand leaning against our balcony smoking cigarettes yeah. And there was no smoking on the property. Yeah. And we would nicely ask them to stop smoking so we could it wouldn't blow into our apartment and, and they didn't care. And the first week we were there, I was like up pretty late, um, doing something, I don't know what I was doing, just watching TV or something in the living room. And all of a sudden I see the lights are on from like a fire truck and police or whatever. And in pulls in a fire truck and an ambulance and a police car. And there was a lady screaming across the way from us. They ended up like bringing her down and they were, she was on a stretcher and wrapped in a blanket. And then as they put her up into the ambulance, her blanket fell down and she was butt naked. 
like I saw this lady all naked. And this was like at one o'clock in the morning, prayed and prayed for us to get out of there. But we were in a year lease and the funny thing is right before Thanksgiving, I come home from work and there was a three day notice to vacate on our door and I was like, what the heck? Cause we like, we pay our rent, but we had also been having problems with our neighbors upstairs and I thought, I, I don't know what was going on. It was just bad. And so contact the office and apparently from the beginning, ever since we moved in there, we made too much money to live there, which we told them, we gave them all of the financial information that they needed, like pay stubs, tax forms, whatever. And at the time we didn't make as much, but then apparently when Shad started, like when we started getting our paychecks for that year, we made too much money, so they kicked us out. I was panicking, because I was like, where are we gonna move? This is horrible. It was totally gone, like got us out of there. I don't know how much longer I could have lasted. I was absolutely miserable. That's our story of our horrible place. If you watch back some of our earlier vlogs, um, you'll probably hear me complaining about it every day. Yeah, you were, um, you were a wreck. Oh, I'm sorry. Swimming lessons is over. Keaton is still wet. I brought all of her stuff to like take a shower and get ready, but it's just too hard. Well, there's a few showers, but they only stay on for like five seconds. Okay, hold on, it's just. Keaton, don't be naughty, okay? You need to be nice. Are you cold? It'll keep you warm. <laughs> She's tired now. That wore her out. Did it wear you out? Um, no. No? So when I got out, it was freezing cold. Well, I am starving, so we're gonna go home and make some tacos. And I'm gonna have mac and cheese. What? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. You guys see the trees in our neighborhood? They are changing color. Look at this. They're changing color. Oh my gosh. They'll change back, don't worry. Well, they're, they're turning fall. All right, let's go inside. Let's go make tacos and mac and cheese, apparently. We got some football going on, the Broncos and the 49ers. Okay, our plan is to have chicken tacos, and I bought some frozen chicken breast grilled pieces. It's not like it's white meat or something. There's a lot of this, I think it's fat. Kennedy said the texture was not really good or anything, so I don't know if we're gonna use that. Shad might still eat it, because he doesn't really care, but then I found this um, ground beef in the refrigerator. I just need, I'm trying to ask Shad how old it is, but then we have black beans going. Kennedy sliced up some tomato and jalapeno. Jalapeno, I'm gonna grate some cheese. We got Tillamook cheese, sour cream. Isn't she pretty? My freshman in high school. Freshman in high, I just spit. Good thing I'm the only one eating the tomatoes. It's so grown up. I'm so proud of her. And she started piano lessons. And her, show them how long your fingers are. Her fingers are so long. Like, look. They're actually bigger than Shad. Yeah, My hand is Kennedy's. bigger than Shad. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, your hands are cold. But her teacher says she's learned a lot already from choir. Like, she can read music already and stuff pretty well. And so she's already, she's been to two lessons, and her teacher's like, yeah, she's gonna be fine. And you're doing choir this year mm -hmm. and college classes. Or wait, it's not a college class, but it's, it is. She takes the test. I don't understand how it goes, but yeah, it's college credits that she's getting this year already, a freshman in high school. She's getting college credits. She's taking AP Science. Yeah. And then the college credit, I don't know what it's called, college credit English. Do you get a college credit for that? Mm hmm Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, just the AP one you get a college credit for? Yeah. I don't know. One of them I have to pay some money for, I, whatever that is. <laughs> But I don't care, it's way cheaper than college, and you get credit for it, and you're super smart, and I'm proud of you, straight A student. Yep. Hi, sweetie! How was your bath? 
You look so comfy and clean. Does it feel good? Teddy started your mac and cheese. It's cooking it's in the microwave. So as predicted, Chad is going to eat the chicken. Were you making bets? No, I wasn't making bets. I just said, Chad's not gonna let that go to waste. Nope. And Kennedy will eat the ground beef. And I'm gonna eat the black beans. Oh, and here's Uncle Tom. I told him, oh, he's coming in to drink his old man drink. And he laughed. What's your what's your old man drink, Uncle Tom? Metamucil. Metamucil. I'm sure it's not just for old man. It just keeps you regular. But my parents and my uncle drink it, so I just call it the old old man drink. And so does Keaton. All right, there's my lovely taco, chicken taco. I'm kind of excited. At first when she said chicken tacos, I was like, yay, chicken tacos. But this is good. So I made me a little poor man double decker, two of them. I'm gonna saddle right up to these little fellers. Giddy up, partner. <laughs> what? That there was my John Wayne impression. Which is apparently not very good. <laughs> He's gotta talk real slow. <laughs> I'm good at that. Keaton, what are you doing? I got my laser gun. You got a laser gun? You just shot this at me. It landed in the sink. Watch, watch vlog. <laughs> watch Here. vlog. Here. Are you gonna shoot daddy? Oh! Good thing I have my eye protectors on. <laughs> she nailed you. No, no, no hesitation. Watch again. My laser gun is back. Watch this again. Okay. <laughs> it's not going. Did you pull it? Oh! <laughs> Did I hit you? No. Oh, you got him. Are you ready to go upstairs and go to bed? No. You're going to fall asleep, I can tell. I know, I, I will. <laughs> yes, I can tell you will too. <laughs> okay, it's the next day. We're getting ready to do our drawing. So we have one free entry for a Qdoba entree. One free coupon for a Qdoba entree. So we have all the people here that entered in to the drawing. On Instagram, you had to go comment on this video or this picture here. How many of you? 30 people entered. 51 people liked it, but only 30 actually entered. So, here we go. I put all the names into this fun spinny thing. So all your names are in here. Keaton, do you wanna do the spin? Okay, here she is, of course, eating her mac and cheese. Okay, so you're gonna click. It just says click to spin. So. Click the wheel and we're gonna see whose name it lands on, okay? Like this? Yep, just press it. Just the, press it. In the white hole? Try it and see what happens. <gasps> oh, watch! Who's it gonna land on? Who's the winner? M Sizzle. Oh, it even popped up right there. M Sizzle 10. So M Sizzle 10, send me um, a message. Kennedy, do you call it a DM? Send me a direct message. Can I just say DM? Yeah, yeah, go okay. for it, say DM. I DM, DM me on Instagram with your address and we will send you your coupon for a free Keto entree, okay? And don't go, don't go you guys. Do you think we should do one more? Should we give away one more free Keto meal? Yeah? Okay, let's do it again. One more. Let's give away one more. We were only going to do one. Who's this going to be? Mom to one, 1971. Okay, so there we go. We have our two winners. So both of you guys um, DM us here on our Instagram or Facebook if you follow us on Facebook. Send us your address and we will send you your free Qdoba entree, okay? So it's a coupon for a free entree. Thanks so much for everybody that entered. That was fun. We might give away some more sometime, so make sure you follow us. And we just need to figure out how to reach out to Qdoba because they totally should sponsor us because we love them. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. We hope you're having a great week. We will see you later. Good night. It's lucky mine.